Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of my show On The Block with me, your Bernini of butchery, Ted the Butcher. How's everybody doing tonight? You know, I just wanted to say, uh, first of all, things have been blowing up on Twitter lately, you know, I've been interacting with so many people out there, uh, the followers, the people I'm following, everybody I love, I just want to say thank you for checking out this show, thank you for checking out my site, and thank you for engaging with me. I, uh, I have about 63 followers, not exactly Justin Bieber, but I have the best followers out there, and this I know. So uh, I got a shout out this week on Twitter from Mario Batali. That was pretty cool. Check out the blog, tedthebutcher.com. Uh, you can see the tweet there or, you know, scroll through the timeline. Got an email from uh, Michelle Tam over at Nom Nom Paleo. Awesome paleo cooking blog site. Fantastic resource. Uh, I heard from the crew at Love Me Butter. They're a really innovative company out of the Bay Area, San Francisco. Uh, and they are doing something where they, they will deliver to you uh, locally raised and processed grass-fed butter, eggs, chicken, uh, and, and uh, I think some meat as well. Great stuff out of there. Um, what else? I don't know. There's so much great stuff out there. We're finding a, a fantastic community uh, of, of all kinds of people that are interested in what I'm doing. I'm interested in what you guys are doing. And everything is awesome. So thank you. Thank you. I'm just very excited. Bear with me. Uh, also excited because on tonight's show, for the first time, we're going to be using a whole animal. Now listen, I'm not going to wheel out a side of beef. I don't have a whole hog. But let me show you what I do have. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful, the time-honored tradition that is the chicken. Yes, you know, we eat pork, we eat beef, you know, those things are great. But I think more often than not, on, uh, on American dinner tables, one of the most common, if not the most common protein that you will find is this right here, the chicken. So I have, this, this chicken is beautiful. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is one of three. Let me bring these beautiful little darlings out. So, you know, I just have to apologize because I did not draw a beautiful chicken for to demonstrate the parts thereof. Because I figured I would just use these beauties because, well, here they are, right? So, tonight, the first thing we are going to do, got a little tag on there, get that out of the way. Make sure your chickens are nice and clean. Make sure they're rinsed. Make sure they're ready to rock. Uh, that, that brings up an interesting point. When you're working with chicken, uh, make sure that you are working with it uh, on a clean surface uh, and a surface that is separate from anything else you might be preparing. We all know this. This is not, I'm not telling you anything interesting and new here. Well, it's interesting, but it's not new. Uh, so, yeah, keep the chicken, you know, cleaned and separate. Uh, and away from your other ingredients, because we all know that chicken sometimes uh, can be a contaminant, right? So uh, so make sure to do that. So here we have these beautiful birds. I am going to start with this one right here. So let me move these guys over. What am I showing you tonight? I'm going to show you how to cut up a chicken. Now, this is a seemingly simple task, but I know that for a few reasons... Uh, that people struggle with it. I've struggled with it. I know so many people. My darling girlfriend, Kelly, she's had a hard time with it. Uh, family, friends, you know, we need to know a really good technique for how to cut up a chicken. And so that's what I'm going to show you tonight. Um, one of the most important things, probably the most important thing that will make your life absolutely easy, and I've said this in every episode, is having the right knife for the job. In this case, two knives. When I do this, I'm a good good fan, big fan of the 10-inch, uh, you know, blade, the big heavy knife. You'll see why in just a few minutes, but this is pretty much the only knife you need for it. Uh, I do have my 6-inch boning knife here, my Victorinox, right? These are my Victorinox knives, by the way. More on those in, in a coming episode. Um, I'm working on something right now, trying to get, get a good explanation of these things together for you so you know what to use. That's an aside. Let's get back to the chicken. So this can be good when you're first starting out. Uh, the key to cutting up a chicken and doing it well is finding the joints and working just between the, the, the joints so that you're not cutting through that bone because it's very, very hard, if not impossible, to do. So 
this can be a good knife to use uh, to, to find your way into those joints and to get that chicken apart pretty quickly. Uh, but once you get a better feel for it, once you learn what you're looking for, which I'll hopefully will be able to explain to you tonight, uh, you will be able to do this with probably just the, the big knife here. And this is one I like to use. And uh, when we split this thing in half, I'll show you why. So what are we dealing with here? Obviously, pretty straightforward, right? Looking at this is the chicken's back. Here's the, here's the, the breast, right? The breast side. Very simple. You've eaten. How many of these have you eaten in your life, right? So we flip it over on its back. Here's the wings, right? You got the drum and the flat and then the tip here, obviously, right? And we've got that on both sides. And then, of course, rolling this beauty on our side, we've got the nice leg which on the drumstick, which comes right down into the thigh. On the back, you have this lovely little uh, attachment here, which I've heard called the Pope's nose or the last part over the fence. Uh, that's, uh, that's where the tail feathers attach. And this is an interesting part. Some people cut it off. Some people will take it out and use it in a stock. Some people will throw it away. But man, when you roast this up, or even if, you fry, if you're frying the chicken, uh, this has got like a lot of nice fat and cartilage in it, and it just has so much flavor. But you got to make it crispy. That's my opinion. But anyway, that's the best way to do it. So, right, wings over here is the, the prime, the, 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 the best part. The part. Well, I shouldn't say the best part. I'm a dark meat guy. This is, this is though, the, the most sought-after part for most people. This is the breast, obviously. Uh, nice white meat in there. Uh, and you got some some fat and everything on here. Now, depending on where you buy your chicken, before we cut it, you might find inside a little packet like this. Uh, if you have a, a butcher that is buying from a local farm, which is awesome, totally awesome, uh, you might not find it in a package, which would be great. Uh, but in here, you're going to find the neck and a couple other things. There might be a little fat in there. You might find a heart and a lung. Sorry if you're getting squeamish, go easy. It's probably the most graphic episode of On the Block that we've had so far, so bear with me. Um, but yeah, these are great to throw in stocks. Uh, sometimes you can get them in, in containers of, the, of their own, uh, or if you have a butcher that has a nice connection, you get a lot of these. Uh, a lot of times they'll cook these up as well, do different things with them, saute them in a pan. They're very good. But again, if you're squeamish, let's, uh, let's move these off the block. What do you say? All right. So, nothing goes to waste, right? Those are, those are great parts as well. So, let's get to cutting this beautiful chicken, all right? So, the technique, let's say you got this in your kitchen. Now, before, one, one last thing before we start. If you have a pair of kitchen shears, I know that's a really popular technique. You can cut the breast in half and cut down the backbone with uh, kitchen shears. And that's great. That totally works. I've seen it done. It's pretty cool. I have to uh, admit. But let's say you don't have that. Uh, we're going to show you how to do it with a knife, how a butcher would or should be doing it. Okay. So if you're going to cut this up, the first thing that I do uh, in the Ted the Butcher method of, of chicken cutting here, uh, we're going to take and take the wings off. So let me start with a small knife. If you, if you, if you aren't too familiar with this, uh, and you're not really sure where that joint is, uh, you might want to start with the small knife and just what you're looking for is the top of this drumette, right, and where it meets the backbone just under the breast. And there's a joint in there. So you're going to take your knife and just get it started nice and easy. Now, don't go deep down into the meat yet. You're just making a quick exploratory cut in there so that you can find the joint. A big, a big difficulty when cutting up chickens is uh, that I think people try to go down into it and cut it off quickly, and you end up hitting a bone, and obviously a knife can't go through the bone, so you, you end up gnawing away at the meat and kind of chewing it up as you're looking for that joint to get a nice cut. So I'm going to tell you how to do that without ruining your chicken. So as you can see, I made a quick exploratory cut right in there, and we're looking for that joint. Now... Now this is kind of hard to see from a distance, but you can start to see where the bone is and where the meat is. So my knife is going right in there, and boom, right there we go, right in between. I want to try and make sure you can see that. Right in between the meat, I'm, I'm through that joint, right in the middle, 
and I'm not hitting any bone, and I've gone right through, and that's it. So there's one wing, okay? Now, as I said, I prefer to use the big knife for this. Uh, so if you go ahead, now you flip this this way, and you're looking for the same thing on the other side, where that joint meets just where the backbone is. You can kind of feel it with your finger. There should be a nice little soft spot, or you can kind of feel the joint in there. So give that a little cut right in there just to see where it is. Once you find it, you're going to take that big knife and just finish that out right, right like that. All right? So there are your wings. Okay? So once you've got the wings off, looks like that. Uh, the next move that I would do, all right, you're going to stand this chicken on what was his or her little head. Now, when you stand it, I mean, you're going to kind of hold it firm. You grab your fingers and hold right here, right around the thigh. Okay? Now, this is, this is the most complex cut, I think. Uh, you want to make sure of a couple things. You want to make sure that this bird is, is nice and steady and you're holding it well. And you're going to come right down the middle with your knife. So, obviously, that means you want to keep your fingers out of the way. Fingers and knives don't play nice. I've learned that too many times the hard way. So, you know, that said, be aware of where you're cutting and just watch out and make sure your fingers aren't there. Now, the other thing to remember here is when you're breaking down this backbone, all right, you're basically taking the knife and going right through the bones, uh, you're going to want to use the butt of the knife right down in here for a couple reasons. One, that's generally the sharpest part of your knife because it's the least used, right? So that's very important. Number two, you got a good grip on that knife, and, and this is very close to the handle, so you're going to get a lot of leverage when you make that cut. Now, the, the, uh, the point here of the blade is what's really doing the work that, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, and your force that you're applying down on the backbone. So let me show you how that looks. So you got your chicken right here. You got the butt of the knife in there, and then you're just going to go straight down with a nice forceful cut. You hold that and go right down, just like that. Now, it's probably going to make it so that you come to one side or the other, the backbone. That's okay. We'll take care of that later. As you can see, we're through, we're through the back of the chicken, right? So now we have the breast here, which I already I hit with the tip of the knife a little bit. Not too bad, but, uh, you know, that's okay. That's okay as well. So the last thing we want to do to get this thing in half is to cut right through that breastbone. Okay? So now mostly cartilage, but right in here is a nice hard bone right up in this way. And that's, that's where that wishbone is. That's where it comes to the point right up in here. So to do that, we're going to open this up. All right? We're going to make sure it's nice and firm. We're going to take our knife and go right down the middle. Now... You're going to line that up in there and make sure the knife is nice and steady. With your, your non-grip hand, you're going to hold it right on the top of the knife. You want the, the meaty part of your palm right on the knife. And we are going to make a just a hard downward motion. Get this a little bit closer to me. We're going to make a nice uh, downward motion here, again, with the using the butt of the knife to crack through this breast. Now... A very important thing is I think sometimes people have a tendency when they put their hand on the knife to kind of curl their fingers in. Don't do that, okay? We said it before, we don't want the fingers playing with the tip of the knife. So, when you bring this in here, keep your hand out nice and flat, put the, the, the meaty part of your palm there right on the end, and we're going to give it a nice motion just like that, okay? So you line that knife up where you want it, put your hand, and then boom pop right through that breast. Now, uh, that, that'll take you right through the bone. You might give it a nice slide to get through any of the skin that's on the bottom there. Didn't quite get that one. Okay, so now we have a chicken, wings, and each half. So we're going to want to separate the leg and thigh and the breast. Now, generally one side, if you do it this way, one side is probably going to have the backbone on it. Uh, and the other side probably won't. So, uh, in this chicken here, the backbone seems to be mostly on this side. And on this side, we have the leg and thigh and the breast. Okay, so, to separate that, the side without the backbone, you're just going to cut right through. 
Okay, and there's your there's one breast. There's your other leg and thigh. Then the other side with the backbone, if that bone is there and you need to cut through, you're going to use the same motion that we use to split the breast. So hand on this part of the knife and we're going to make that lever motion right through the backbone. And uh, I don't know if you heard that, but it just get a little crack. Then we're just going to cut through the skin like that. So there you go. There you have the, the uh, legs and thighs, breasts, wings. Okay, and if you want to just see one real quick, let me show you. Oh, let me get that tag off there. Okay, so when you get good at it, you start to do it pretty quickly there. All right, there you go. One beautiful cut up chicken. That's how you do it fast.